Hello and welcome to another video from School Tech HQ. Today we're going to be looking at creating a scratch program where we're looking at underwater cleanup. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a sprite and it's going to be underwater and it's going to be collecting up some rubbish that is thrown in. So first thing we're going to do when we're creating our underwater scene is we need to change this background. Right now the stage, this bit on the right, you can see it is just white. So if we go down to stage, we can click on that and our coding changes, but all you need to do is go to this picture icon with a plus and this will pop up. And we go to search, so choose a backdrop. And we're going to choose underwater. So if we go all the way along the top, we can choose underwater as our backdrop. I'm going to pick underwater two for this one. You can pick underwater one if you want. I'm going to pick underwater two. Select that and you can see our background has now changed. We've got our background, we're now going to change our sprite, so we need to get rid of this sprite, so we need three bits of rubbish. So if I select on my sprite, and you can see this little bin option, select bin, and he'll disappear. Once we've done that, we need to go to this cat symbol with a plus, and you see we have a pop-up with a few options. Click on choose a sprite. So if we go to food, we can select maybe a bit of food that's going to be our rubbish. And we'll go, we'll go for a takeout box. Okay, so this takeout box is our first bit of rubbish. And what we're going to do is, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to make it glide around slowly. So now that we've got our takeout, we're going to go over to events. And we're going to click on when green flag clicked. So click and drag and when green flag clicked from our block palette into our coding space here. Okay, once we've done that, we want to, to show so when we press the green flag, it will show up. I'm going to go to looks for that. And once we go to our purple looks, I'm going to go down, scroll all the way down to the bottom of it where you see the word show. And once we've got this show, we click and drag it and add it on here. We want it to say where it's coming from. So we're going to go back up a little bit. Still in the purple looks, we're going to go to think. And it's going to be this one here. So instead of saying, hmm, to my press green flag, it will think, hmm. We don't want that, we want it to say something else. It's something like, someone drew me away after dinner and didn't recycle me. There we go, so when I press the green flag, it's going to come up in a speech bubble, what it's thinking. Now, to make it glide around and move to different places, we are going to go down to control. That's this darker orange one. And we're going to go one, two, three down and add a forever. So we can click and drag forever, add it on here. And now whatever we put in here is going to happen continuously. It's never going to stop until we press this stop button here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to motion and we're going to make it glide. That means it's going to smoothly go around the screen. So we'll go for glide this one here, so one, two, three, four, five, six down, glide. Instead for one second, we can change it to 10 seconds. You can just click on that little box and change it to 10, whatever number you want. And it's gonna be 10 seconds to a random position. If we press create flag, you see it slowly will move around the space. So that's our first bit of rubbish here. And it's going to keep that up until we find it. So let's stop that right now. I'll put it here for now. Okay, we're going to make another sprite. This is our second one. So for this one, we're going to make this second sprite bounce around in a straight line. So what we need to do is we need to choose a sprite. So this time we're going to go for a bit of food again. But this time it's going to be a bit of food that we just haven't eaten. It's been thrown away. Let's go for a taco. Okay, so this taco, I'm going to make the size a bit smaller. So if you go to size here, just in this section, we can change that. We we'll make it uh, 60 because it's a bit big to taco. That might make it be 50. There we go. And this one we're going to have just go backwards and forwards over and over again. So we need to go to events. That's this kind of yellowy orange one. And when green flag clicked, we always start our program for these with our when green flag clicked. We then need to go to the same thing. We go to the light purpley blue. Some would say violet. We'll go to this one and we're going to select our show again. And then we scroll up back to the top 
of this section and we go to think as well and this one is going to say someone should have composted me now we want this to go in a straight line so what we do is we can it forever so it's going to continually do it until we stop it we, for that we need to go down to control dark orange and a forever click and drag that in and snap it on the bottom of that think it's like a jigsaw piece now for this we need to add our move so we're going back to motion the light blue one at the top the left and we're going to pick this top one here move so move 10 steps click and drag it you see it wants to add in wherever we hover it we're going to go for inside this forever so not on, on top of it not underneath it it won't work if it's underneath inside like this we change that to one step now what's going to happen is this will go on forever and it'll keep going all the way along until it's off the screen we don't want that though we want it to when it gets to the end come back so we need to go down in our blue section if we scroll down find one that says if on edge bounce so we click that drag it over and put it underneath the move on step and there you have it there we've got this so if i press the green flag we've got one that's moving slowly gliding to a different place and one that is going to go in a straight line all the way across and bounce back now if it's rotating around and going upside down there is a way to fix this if you want to fix this if i click on tackle i could go right underneath to the f on edge and add a set rotation style add that in underneath and that means it's going to only go left and right it's not going to go up and down change rotation if I speed this up, let's say to 10 steps, so I can change the speed of it by changing the amount of steps. If I press go, you see it's whizzing by now, and that's way too fast. So I will keep it down. I might make it two steps. That's better. Okay, stop that there. Right, we now need a third piece of rubbish, and this one is going to stay in place, but it's going to spin around and around. So I need to click again on this cat face with a plus sign. Click on the magnifying glass to choose a sprite. I'm going to pick a ball. And this one is going to be a beach ball. This beach ball here. And this is going to be up here. Now, same thing as before. We're going to go to events. That's on the left. This yellow one. Click on when green flag clicked. Add it into our coding area. Let's zoom in a bit for that. Then we're going to go to our looks again. And we scroll down until we get to show after show we're going to go back up and we're going to add a think and this one is going to think and say i was left on beach now this one's going to spin in place repeatedly so same thing because we're repeating we need a loop and we're going to go to control it's our dark orange here and then we're going to click our forever third one down and drag over and put it underneath again now this time because it's going to be rotating around we want it to spin in place we're going to go to motion that's the blue one the top left we're then going to go down to the second one which is turn and it's got a curved arrow this is 15 degrees click on that one and drag it in and because we want it to spin slowly again we go for our say let's two degrees and let's see what it does so now we press green flag you can see the ball is spinning in place and these are also moving <laughs> okay now that we've got our three different bits of rubbish we now need to make our hero sprite so our sprite that we're going to use for cleaning up this mess under the water and i think we'll choose a diver because oh, we are under the sea after all okay so there's my diver there now for this diver we need to have a few commands just like the others and what it's going to be is we go to when green flag clicked. So we're going to go back to our events. And when green flag clicked. And this is going to have a few commands, this one. We're going to say go to a specific point when we press the green flag. We go to motion. And this time we're going to go to this one here. So it's one, two, three, four, five down from the top. It says go to X and Y. And we're going to put go to X. And this is our coordinates negative 192 and y negative 127 if i press green flag you notice it starts off in the corner now 
we've got it in its starting position, but now we need to go to each bit of rubbish to pick it up. So what we need to do is we need to zoom out a bit. We need to add a few commands. So we go back to events and we go back to, we go back, so if we go to events, so if we go to events and we click on this one, when spacebar pressed, we're going to add it in here. Instead of spacebar, I'm going to change it to the number one. So this drop down menu, I can click it and I can choose all these different keyboards. Commands, I'm going to choose one. So what I'm going to say is when one is pressed, I'm going to go back to motion. I'm going to say I want it to glide to a certain thing, to this rubbish here. So I'm going to say glide one seconds to, I'm going to choose take out because that's what it was, take out there. Okay. So now when I press green flag, if I press one, it will go to where the rubbish is. And we're just going to repeat this for the other two. So we'll go back to events. We go to the second one, which is when space key pressed. Change this drop down all the way to number two. Go back to motion. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six down, glide one second to random position, click and drag it in under when two key pressed. And we're going to change this one to tackle. And then I've got one more I need to add because I've got a beach ball as well. So I go back to events, click the second one, when space key pressed. Now if you have the ability to use a right click, and um, Chromebook saves a bit fiddly, but in your two fingers press on your keypad, should allow you to right click you could then just duplicate and it becomes a lot easier. So there we go, change that to three. But if we're doing it a long way, I'll show you how to do that. So we've got when space bar key pressed, pick number three, and I'm then going to move back to motion. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to pick that one, glide one second to random position. This time I'm going to pick the beach ball. So now I've got my three different commands here. I've got my when. So now I've got my four different commands here. I've got my when, green flag click. That's the first thing. It's going to go to the corner. And when I press one, it's going to go to the takeout. Two, it's going to find the tackle and go to the tackle. And three, go to beach ball when it press that. And then well, I'm going to have one more actually. If we go to events, go back to when base key pressed. We change this one to C. And when I see, I'm going to go to looks. I'm going to say for two seconds, say hello for two seconds. This time I'm going to change it to that's better for two seconds. When I press C, it says that's better. One goes to tackle, two, sorry, one goes to take out, two goes to tackle, three goes to beach ball. As well as I might want to add a sound to these. So each of these I'm going to add another command here, and this is a popping sound. So I'm going to, when green clicked, I'm going to add another forever. So go to control and add a forever. One, two, three, control. And I'm going to add this if then thing. This is where it gets a bit more complicated. So if then, if something is clicked, then I want it to make a sound. So we're going to sound, add this in first. I'm going to say start sound pop and put it inside here. Then after that, I'm going to then hide it. And this means that I'm going to hide. So if I go to looks, and I scroll down, we had show before, we now have hide. So I can drag that hide underneath the sound pop. So what's going to happen is when the rubbish is touched, I'm going to make it make a sound and then hide. And how we do that is we need to go down to sensing. You see that this block here, if something then, has a different shape. So it kind of gives us a clue on what sort of commands we can put in there. So we're going to put this one here where it says touching. So the top one here, touching mouse pointer, we click and drag that in and it goes inside this hexagon. There we go. I'm going to change it from mouse pointer to my diver. So there we go, click and drag down all the way to diver. Now what happens is when it is clicked, it will then disappear. So if I press green flag, and we press on number one. There you go. It may disappear and made a sound as well. Believe me, it did. You might have been able to heard it, but you did. Now we're going to repeat this for the other ones. Now, if you can, if you can do it, click on it. Control C. 
If I go to my next Pataco, click anywhere on the space and then control V. And that'll get it quickly there for you. And then same for beach ball. If I zoom out a bit, click anywhere on the space, control V. And that's how I can quickly get it on each of them. So let's start again. So we press one, pop it disappears, two, pop it disappears, three, pop it disappears. And finally, what do we do at the end? C. That's better. And there we go. We've now got it working. We're going to have a fully working game where we're going to scrape flag. A fully functioning little game playing under the water. And uh, we've got a few things here. A few different commands we've used for it. If you are stuck at any place, please make sure that you pause the video, rewind, play it again. Like I said, for this um, popping bit where it makes a pop sound and it disappears. If you do it for one, just pause the video, rewind it. If you can't copy and paste with using Control C, Control V, um, or is it Command C, Command V, and then just do the same process again for Taco and for Beach Ball. And for extra challenge, you could then change your sprite, could add more things to it, and more characters, and maybe add more things swimming around, um, and amongst get some fish involved. It's up to you how you do it, but there's a the basics of how to make this little game looking at how to save sea life. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, it's been useful for you, and happy coding. Mm -hmm.